Hello everyone and welcome to Network Labs. Today in this video, we will continue our service provider lab using Juniper routers. Our network's backbone is ready to go. Let us deploy routing instance or VRF between our PE and CE devices. The routing instance is the primary requirement for completing our first task. Let us start the configuration in PER1. Enter the configuration mode. Type the command set routing instance followed by the desired instance name. Then the instance type which is VRF. Next, edit the routing instance. Under the routing instance, set the interface facing CE1 Site 1 to participate within the VRF. Next, set the route distinguisher. Type the command set route distinguisher followed by the IP address, then colon number format or syntax. We will use the loopback address for our example. Next, configure the root target. Type the command set VRF target that will automatically take all the routes from VRF, then export to multi protocol BGP and import from multi protocol BGP to VRF. We will not specify what route to import or export yet for now. Append the command target colon AS number colon, then the desired value. That is all for the basic routing instance or VRF configuration. Commit check then commit the configuration. Now conduct ping test using the routing instance facing CE1 Site 1. Point-to-point -point connectivity is successful between PER1 and CE1 Site 1. Apply the same configuration in PER4 facing CE1 Site 2. First, create the routing instance. Set VRF as the instance type. Edit the routing instance. Set the interface to participate within the VRF. Set the root distinguisher. Then set the VRF root target. Commit check, then commit the configuration. Ping is also successful from PER4 to CE1 Site 2 via the routing instance. 
Now let us proceed and configure OSPF as the PE to CE routing protocol for the routing instance. Let us configure basic OSPF in CE1 sites. In CE1 site 1, create OSPF process, then advertise the link facing PER1 and its loopback 0 address. Repeat similar configuration in CE1 site 2 facing PER4. Basic OSPF is done on both sites of CE1. Go to PER1 and configure OSPF within the VRF. Edit the routing instance. Then set protocols area 0 followed by the interface under the routing instance facing CE1 site 1. That is all for OSPF configuration under the routing instance. Repeat the configuration in PER4 facing CE1 site 2 under the routing instance. Edit the routing instance. Set OSPF protocols area 0, followed by the interface facing CE1 site 2. Commit the configuration. PE to CE routing protocol is done. Let us check the routing table of both PER1 and PER4. In PER1, we can see in its routing table the prefix advertised by CE1 site 1 via OSPF under the routing instance CE1. The same status in PER4. The ping is also successful in PER4 going to CE1 Site 2's loopback. The same result in PER1 facing CE1 site 1's loopback. In PER1, the prefix of CE1 site 2 is also received, but via BGP.
in PER4, CE1Site1's prefix is also installed via BGP. Now if we check in CE1Site1, the prefix of Site2 is not yet received. Now for ce one sites to reach each other, we need to create an export policy both on PER1 and PER4. Configure the policy in OSPF that takes the Layer 3 VPN multi-protocol BGP routes and puts them back into OSPF within the VRF. From OSPF then export to BGP from the routing instance. Then via BGP, import the route to the routing instance. Go to PER1 and create new policy options. Set policy statement then the desired name. For the first term, set from then choose protocol BGP. Edit the policy statement. Set then accept. Next, edit the routing instance and apply the export policy. Set protocol OSPF, then set the export policy. Commit the configuration. Repeat similar configuration in PER4. Create a policy option. Then apply the export policy in the routing instance. Commit the configuration. Now go back to the customer's sites and verify the routing table. In CE1 Site 1, the prefix of Site 2 is now installed in the routing table via OSPF. CE1 Site 2 also receives the prefix from Site 1. Ping tests and trace routes are also successful. 
Basic L3 VPN is successfully established on the service provider network using OSPF as the PE to CE routing protocol. With this, task one is complete. I hope that this is informative to you and thank you for watching.